to today's poll workout, guys. And if you're watching this, this video was filmed a little week ago. I believe it's going to be up today, Thursday, or Wednesday the 26th, so it'll probably be up last week. So I started off this workout with some unilateral single arm lat pull down, just to get both the lats firing evenly, get both sides, make sure there's no imbalances. Then I moved on to my heavier compound movement, which was a weighted pull up. And as I did here, I did three sets of eight, um, and I worked up to a really top set, I guess you can say, of uh, the heaviest set, which I did 20 pounds attached. Um, and that set was two failure, and we actually went past failure with some assisted reps, as you can see here. Um, I stripped the weight off after that, and the goal was eight reps, thing up about like six, but most importantly, I hit failure. So I stripped the weight quick, and then I'm doing some jump assist reps just to make sure I'm getting past failure, really just gassing those lats, make sure I'm giving them everything I got pretty much. Um, but when you do these right, you can really get a shit ton of work from them. And I believe I get four assist reps here. So three sets of eight there, increase the weight each set. Next, we're moving on to some lat pull-throughs or pull straight arm pull-downs, whatever you want to call them. I uh, haven't done these in a while, so I thought I'd do them, but I honestly love the squeeze on these. And the key with these is to keep your elbows and arms as straight as you possibly can and just squeeze as hard with your lats. Seems pretty simple, uh, but a lot of people have a harder time with this movement. So the next movement we're going to be doing is my favorite row at the moment, which is a landmine reverse grip row. Uh, same as the pull-ups here, I did an 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight rep scheme uh, where I worked up to a top heavy set to failure on these. I didn't go past failure, just to a, uh, just about 8 reps, 8-9 eight, reps where I could not no longer get another rep with good form. So those killed, and then we've gone to some rear delt work. Uh, so right now my favorite way to target the rear delts is just with the pec deck machine or I guess you could say reverse pec deck machine. So being that it's the only exercise I do for rear delts, I give them a little bit more volume just for this exercise. Uh, so I do three working sets here. The last working set is two failure with a drop set. I don't know if I show the drop set or not. This is just a working set. Um, but when you do these, like you can still train them just as hard as any other body part. I mean, if you want them to grow, you gotta train them, you gotta train them right and give them your, all, all your effort. So that's what I did there. Our first bicep movement of the day is just a incline curl, a uh, very high incline. I don't like to lean back too much in these just because it kind of bugs my shoulders a little bit. Uh, so it's 888 rep scheme here, worked up to top heavy set to failure, did kind of some partials at the end there. Last one of the day, we have a rope hammer curl. Uh, this is one of my favorite bicep curls because it works that brachialis a little bit. Uh, and it also really good for that kind of outer head of the bicep as well. So here I just did two sets. I guess if you're getting really technical, three sets. I did a working set, which was with left a few reps left in the tank, not to failure. Then I finished off with one last set of like 12 to 15 reps to failure with a single drop set. So dropped the weight once, about 10 pounds, did another set, which I would say one set, but technically it's three, I guess you can say, in every set total. All right, good morning guys, what's happening? Hope you guys enjoyed that pull workout, uh, back, rear delts, and bicep workout. And like you, guys, like you guys saw before, I had my two rice cakes with some peanut butter in the morning. That was two 80 calorie rice cakes and then 20 grams of the peanut butter. So it comes out to about close to 300 calories or whatever. And right after I ate those, I prepped my post-workout smoothie. Because as you know, obviously we're all busy with our own lives, whether it's school, work, whatever. Um, I have school today, so I don't have time to go home and cook a meal. So what I did, right as I got up, Took me five minutes, just threw a bunch of shit into a blender, blended it all up, made a good smoothie, tastes really good too. So the key to making this high calorie smoothie, this smoothie, or shake if you wanna call it, is 1100 calories, which is insane. And I can just like kinda chug it right down, it doesn't phase me really. Um, so 70 grams or two scoops of whey protein, 100 grams, and this is the key here, cream of rice. If you know what like, it's kinda like oatmeal or whatever, but like it's basically just granulated rice. And I just threw the bunch of that in the blender. Um, and mix that up. And it's, the cool thing about that is it's pure carbohydrates, really dense in calories, but there's no fiber in it. So the fiber is not really gonna fill you up. It's gonna digest really well. Um, so I really like that. Just because if I have too much fiber, I'm not gonna be able to eat like 5,000 calories in the day. Also, uh, like 45 grams of Nutella, which really helps. Uh, two servings of honey really helps. And then, yeah, that's it. Just a little bit of water to mix it all together. The one thing with the cream of rice though, it's not ideal, it doesn't, like mix in very well like unless you stir it up um because you can still kind of taste like the crunch to it but either way i'm not complaining because it's an easy way for me to get in calories so i'm gonna slurp this down on my way home shower really quick and then get my ass to class uh so yeah i will see you guys probably with the next meal i eat i'm not sure when that's gonna be but i'll show you all right peace 
All right, guys, free period for class. So what I have here is a chewy granola bar. It's like an organic one, so it's like off-brand. And then a one protein bar, the cookie dough flavor. And a big tip I can give you guys when you're trying to eat a shit ton of food. It doesn't really matter what amount of food, but if it's a shit ton to you, the best thing you can do is eat frequently and it's like as much as you can uh like you don't want to be like spacing your meals out like trying fasting or anything like that just eat as much as you can like literally in order for me to do this without feeling sick is i have to eat like almost like every two hours like and it's not like i'm overeating like that's kind of like 5,000 calories it's still like just above my maintenance i guess you can say um so it's still like in check but still it's super hard for me to eat so what i have to do is literally like every two hours just eat some food so really a little bit of protein, about 20 grams of protein in here, but mainly I just feel it up with glycogen and carbs every time I eat. Cause I only eat protein maybe five times a day, but I probably have like six to seven times I eat in the day total. But most of that's just to get some carbs in. So with this right now, 20 grams of protein, eight grams of fat, 24 carb for the protein bar. And for the granola bar, um, two protein, 26 carb, 1.5 fat. So pretty carb dense pretty carb dominant obviously which is the majority of the food that i'm eating so i'm gonna enjoy this and then i got some client like check and stuff to do on my phone real quick while i'm on my free period so i'll see you guys at the next meal Also had a few of these trolley sour bite night crawlers. I guess what you just saw there was my biggest meal of the day, and that was my lunch meal. So why that's the biggest meal of my day is usually that's when I'm most hungriest in the day. It's in the middle of the day right now, just because I'll eat right away at the gym, I'll have a snack at school, and then it's kind of like maybe four to five hours without like a big meal. So I'm usually the most hungry. Still not very hungry, but compared to what I'm usually like, I'm hungry then. So I'll take advantage of that and have a really big meal to try and get some carbs and calories knocked out of the way. So what that was was two whole packets of Uncle Ben's ready jasmine rice. So 5,000 calories a piece. So it's over 200 grams of carbs. Uh, that was four ounces of 93.7 ground turkey, 28 grams of olive oil for extra fats and calories, and then 50 grams of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. So really high calorie there it honestly tastes really good like it's not not a whole lot to it but it tastes really really good so it's a great way white rice or like any kind of jasmine rice is a great way that i personally use all the time really affordable really cheap uh so take advantage of like rice and stuff like that like white or rice because it's not going to fill you up easy to get some calories and carbs in so that was my lunch and then i also had a little bit of trolley like night crawler worms after that because i just got some at the grocery store so i wanted to try some really quick so I just had like four of those so the macros, like always, will be up on the screen. All right, guys, so now it's time to go have my first kind of like dinner, or I guess you can say, or just meal again. So it's big bowl of cereal, the bowl I have every single day. So I'm gonna do some cookie crisp today with um, some BPN milk and cookies, whey protein with just some almond milk. And yeah, I did switch my protein up just to try something new. Like normally I'm on the ghost lifestyle, uh, cereal and milk kind of protein. Uh, but just to try it out, I tried the Bear Performance Nutrition uh, supplement line just to see what I think of it. Try something new. So far, I'm a fan of it. Um, the taste was kind of hit or miss at first, but I think I'm starting to like it. So I'm going to go have that and I'll show you guys that big ass bowl. Uh, what it's going to be is 125 grams of cereal, so literally a mountain of cereal. A uh, serving of just vanilla almond milk, uh, not the low calorie one because I need the extra cows. And then just a scoop of whey protein, which is 35 grams. So I'll show you guys that. Also, a real, real quick thing while I'm making this cereal is that I like BPN because they have the option to get uh, five pound tubs of protein instead of the two and a half pounds or two pound tubs. 
Um, I like that just because if you like a flavor, you can stock up on it. You don't have to buy two separate containers. Um, yeah, so I just like that. All right, so it's dinner time right now. It's about 6.30. So I usually eat my last one of the day at 6.30. Uh, that's probably, it seems a little bit early, but I get up at like 3.50 to 4 o'clock every day. So I like to give myself a little bit of time to digest my food. So what I'm going to do tonight is to cap things off, I'm going to do uh, two burger sliders on some little buns. And then our avocado burgers on sliders will be really good. And then just a little side bowl of rice. And normally I would do like potatoes, cut into like french fries for a side. But rice is just so much more easier for me. I can just throw it in the microwave quick, at, like the microwave rice. Um, not not as filling, so I'm gonna just do that instead. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. I'll show a few cooking clips from that too. Um, yeah, like always, macros will be up on the screen. So these honestly is one of my favorite meals. Uh, so hopefully you guys can try it out for yourselves. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching that video. It's kind of quick, simple, uh, but that's what I'm eating right now. So my macros at the moment are uh, 190 grams of protein, 130 grams of fat, which is crazy high, and then 750 grams of carbs, which is even higher, and that's just like kind of mind-blowing for me because I never thought I'd be at that point where I have to eat that much and still barely be able to gain weight. Uh, that comes out to just under 5,000 calories. So what I do is honestly the biggest thing you can do is make sure you're spacing your food out as even as evenly as you can and you want to get a head start on it for the day because if you sit and you wait a few hours to eat your first food, you might have to eat that much food in like literally like a 10 to 8 hour eating window and that's not fun. So I literally try to span it out to at least like a 16 hour eating window if I can just because that's going to really help me out. And then also don't be afraid to use like the sauces like I use a lot of barbecue, I use a lot of like avocado oil, olive oil. Um, Things like really dense like noodles, pastas, rice, everything like that. I even use like the uh, just like the buns for the burgers and stuff like that. Avocados if you're trying to keep it like kind of clean. And I do feel like I've kept my diet pretty much clean for the most part. Um, and yeah, like trying to minimize the amount of just like kind of junk food I eat because like I do I do still have like cereal and stuff like that, but I don't really count that as like full on junk food. But like for like my fats and everything, I eat a lot of avocados, a lot of avocado oil, olive oil. Um, healthy fats like that and for the most part it's just kind of it's clean like I don't really go to like get fast food I don't remember last time I got fast food so it's cool that I'm still doing what I'm doing and keeping myself relatively healthy which is ultimately you got to be healthy before anything else which um, ultimately is what I'm trying to do too so hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in the next one peace